Yes, I am Alistair from Launchable. And first I'll give you a little bit of a um, background on our, our company and what we're trying to do. So we are a SaaS company, software as a service company. Um, we're a series A startup. So we um, raised our series A this summer, which is very exciting. We're a fully remote team across the USA and Japan. Uh, we've got about 15 to 20 people. And um, our mission as a company is to help um, help software development teams harness the power of the data that their software development process creates that kind of a lot of the time gets left on the cutting room floor. And we can use that, that data to optimize processes, save time and those kinds of things. So the way that manifests in terms of product is um, we consider ourselves like a, a software testing intelligence platform for enterprises. And that has kind of two arms. One is something we call predictive test selection, which is where we can use machine learning to predict which tests developers need to run. Most of the time they're running like lots and lots and lots of tests, which take a long time. And we can actually tell them exactly which tests to run so they can save time, which is really cool. And also insights into how their broader testing process is running across their companies, again, so they can identify trends and, and problems and things like that. So unsurprisingly, like customer data, sending they, they send us data and the integrity of that data is super, super important because it underpins all of the functionality that we provide. And so customers are sending us data from their testing processes. And when we first launched, we actually launched with just that layer of, of product. We didn't have any web UI or anything like that. We were working directly with our customers um, and they're sending us data. And, and a big part of my job at that point early in the company was to verify the integrity of that data, which is kind of where Retool comes in. So before we had we started using Retool, I was the one doing that writing SQL queries against our database, saving them on my desktop, what I probably should have been putting them in a Git repo, that kind of thing. All that information was locked in my head or in, in my computer, and, and it was uh, very laborious. I was running individual SQL queries to look at different customers' data and check it. Super easy to miss problems. And because everything was kind of happening in a silo, it was harder to surface problems for the rest of the team, especially because we are a distributed company. You know, no, I can't just walk over to a coworker's desk and say, hey, come check out what's on my screen. I need to be able to share things in a digestible fashion for when someone is working on the other side of the world and they can't, they can't ask me a question. So that was a problem. And to illustrate this, my world looked like this for quite a while, right? I was running queries, like I said, changing them, rerunning them. I was looking at JSON from Amazon S3 on my own and trying to process that using the command line. And it was really tough. So as we scale up to more customers, um, it made sense to look for a solution that was going to solve these problems for us. And, and that's where we started using Retool. So I'll jump over to an example. This is kind of example data from our staging data from um, the first app that we built in Retool, which was basically, you know, I just copied a query I already had. I was able to build an application in Retool really quickly to create, this is kind of a summary view of when a customer is sending us data. So every time a customer sends us data, it adds a new row to this table. And over time, I'm able to look at this data and see if something's wrong, <laughs> if something's wrong with a customer's data. And that's a problem for us to you know, go and talk to them about. And so this is great. I can jump between customers instead of having to change a query or anything like that. I can search. I can do a lot more things um, using this web UI. You know, after I've looked at a, a summary data, sometimes I need to jump into a details view. So I want to look at a specific data send and check that and maybe answer a question. So um, in the old world, I had to take a, another query and run it. But Retool, I can just, I've added a button. I can click this button. It's going to pass the, the ID through using query parameters. So this is another retail app that we put together. And this grabs all that information that I was looking for to do a details view. And because that ID of this particular you know, data send is in that URL, that gives me an artifact I can share with my colleagues. Retool was particularly useful for this app because this app joins data from both our Postgres database and from Amazon S3, um, which is something that would be really hard for me to do otherwise. So, you know, this has helped us streamline our, our customer success process and our data integrity process, but we also use it, you know, there's still times where we need to deep dive and, and run some custom queries if we have a specific question that we want to answer. So we could go back into SQL land and run those queries manually, or we could just use Retool. So another way that we, we use Retool is we kind of create these, um, these journals of investigating a customer problem. As I was saying earlier, we're a distributed team and a big part of our team culture is we try to write everything down and we try to show our work because if I come to some conclusion, it's important to explain how I came to that conclusion in case somebody has a question about it later. For instance, I might be doing this investigation. I've got, I wrote a question up here and said, okay, the same test's failing over and over. That's a, 
potential problem with the data we need to look into. It's able to write some queries, put that information on a page and get all this written down so that if I do find a problem, I need to maybe escalate it to engineering. All I have to do is send them this link and then they can understand the process I went to to identify the problem and they can get in and edit and take a look at the queries themselves as well. So we found this to be really um, a helpful approach. And this also becomes something that I can use again, right? Now I have an artifact. If I have a similar problem with another customer, I can copy this and, and I have a starting point. So after Retool, we're able to break down those knowledge silos. As we brought on more team members, we're a you know, growing company. The Retool apps are a lot easier for me to, to explain how to, how to use than, than these kind of custom scripts and so on. As I mentioned earlier, we're able to share artifacts very easily, send someone directly to a summary view for a customer or a details view because everything's stored in career parameters. And at the end of the day, this, this just helps us catch problems faster and, and uh, help our customers. Now, as I said earlier, the first version of the product, we started with this kind of back end, and we were working very directly uh, closely with customers to, to onboard them and so on. And eventually we decided, okay, let's build a web front end so that customers can go through this process themselves. And so when we decided to do that, we basically had all of these prototypes of what kind of data does the customer need? Because we'd already built that in Retool. So we're able to accelerate our second launch very quickly because we had all these Retool apps and it was practically copy paste these queries into a new web application. We didn't have to go through the process of thinking about it, shipping it, editing, so on, going through that process. We already have what we needed. And now when we want to ship new pages in our web app, it's super quick for us to build a quick prototype in Retool, lay it out like it would look like in our web app, show it to a couple of customers, tweak things and then that just takes a couple of hours and then we can turn into a more fully fledged you know part of our application much more easily so i'm um, looking forward to building out more tools in uh in retool thanks very much